Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know how to make your own internet controlled AC dimmer project using which you can control the brightness of the bulb or speed of the fan wirelessly using your UbiDots account on a smartphone or laptop. So let's get started. So for making this project, you will need one generic ESP8266 module, a 220V AC to 3.3V DC power supply board, one bridge rectifier, one MCT2EIC, one MOC3021 IC, one BT136 triac, couple of resistors, two pin terminal connectors and a push button. I bought most of the components used for this project from lcsc.com. I will leave the link of the products in the description so you can buy it directly from lcsc.com. Now the connections of all the components is something like this. Now to make this project smaller and more compact, I designed my own PCB on easyeda.com. Shout out to my intern Joy Jacob who designed this amazing PCB for the project in 4 layers to make it way more compact. Then I gave its order to glcpcb.com. Just upload the Gerber file on the website and it will automatically detect the number of layers. Then you just need to select the color masking and you need to pay for your order. You will be receiving this amazing PCBs at your doorstep. So try out GLCPCB once to make your projects look neat and more compact. And if you want the exact same PCB which I am using, then I am giving away free PCBs with every Techie SMS t-shirt order. Just select the project under the PCB section and you will get the PCB absolutely free. The link for t-shirt purchase is in the description. Now one by one I shouldered all the components on the PCB and after shouldering the components the project looks something like this. Handy and well arranged. Now let's jump into the coding for this project. In this video I won't be explaining you the working principle of the dimmer. That thing I already explained in detail in my previous video. Watch that video out to learn how the AC dimmer works. Now I have just edited the code to make it work with UbiDot server while the original code for dimming the bulb using ESP was written by this guy. I will attach the link of its original code in the description. Now in the code GPIO0 of ESP is used as zero voltage crossing pin and GPIO2 is used as triac triggering pin. Now here you need to provide your Wi-Fi credentials to make this project talk to internet. For the server, I have used the UbiDots MQTT server. Now let's quickly have a look over how to configure your UbiDots account. You just need to quickly make an account on the website, then just go to this devices and devices again. Now click on create device. Select blank here. Now give it a name as ESP-01. Click on create. So you successfully created the device. Now go inside this device and here we need to add a variable. So just click on add variable and select raw. Give it a name as bulb. Now click on UbiDots logo which will take you to the dashboard. Click on add new widget. Select slider. Now click on add variable. Go inside this ESP-01 and select bulb. Now here you need to give the minimum and maximum value which is 0 for minimum and 255 for maximum. That's it. Just click on this green button and you have your slider ready on your dashboard. Okay, so you successfully configured your own UbiDots account. Now we just need to add the API credentials in the code and for that click here and select the API credentials. Click here to copy your own unique key. Now go to your code and paste that token here. Thank you. 
That's it. You don't need to do any further changes in the code. Now just select the right board and port and click on this upload button. Now here I am using my own ESP programmer shell which makes programming this ESP01 module way more easy. You can make your own ESP shell by watching this video. Now let's insert the ESP on the PCB and also attach the AC input power. For testing purpose, I am using a bulb here. Let's power up the project. Now initially it didn't work due to a small error in the PCB designing. But after scratching and shorting one path, we were now ready to use this project. Let's power it up again. Now here you can easily change the brightness of the bulb using the slider on your UBDOTS account via smartphone or laptop. Isn't it really cool? You can easily make this project compatible with Google Assistant or Alexa by just using the IFTTT. Let me know in the comments if you want a separate video about controlling this project using Google Assistant and Alexa. Ending this video here, I hope you loved this project and if yes, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe my channel to see more such amazing project tutorials. Other than projects, I also used to upload some getting started videos on electronic components or products, some explained videos on different technology or sensor, and some short but useful tips and tricks. So just wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.